does it feel like you hit everything? Or do you want to go back out and maybe go 12 for 12? Or anyone? <laughs> I wish I could go back out there and just keep shooting the ball because I guess everything went in today. <laughs> Unlike um, when we play out there. Coach said it was a matter of like you were went over some videotape with Coach. Yeah. He wanted you to shoot more. I mean. Um. Yeah. Before. Um. I think it was yesterday before before um, before practice. He called me up to his office and he showed me the shot that I took. And personally, I thought that I took too many shots and I thought that the shots I took were bad. But then he called me up and said, "Pop, there's no need to worry about it." If you want to take more shots, take shots. If they bad, I tell you, I'll tell you. So don't worry about it. <laughs> so, I mean, and he kind of helped me with my confidence. So today, I just went in and just said, oh, if I have a shot, we'll just take it. So what was the conscious? I mean, were you thinking about that? I mean, you said, okay, I'm really going to. I mean, he kind of freed me a little bit. Because, you know, usually, because I'm, I'm, I'm not a selfish guy. I want my teammates, you know, to play. And I want them involved. Because, you know, it's a team, it's a, it's, it's a team game. And usually, because last game, I took two, three shots, and I missed it, and I was thinking about it. I was like, I'm taking too many. Let me get my teammates involved. And then Coach said, he came away, he just told me, don't worry about it. Your teammates won't be involved. They want you to take shots, and they want you to play, to play hard and to play good. So don't worry about it. If you make them, they're not going to be upset. So go on and take them. So you were thinking less? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I kind of think less. When I had a shot, I had the confidence that when I gave it, when I, when, I, when I had the shot, when I, when I take it, it's going to go in. And I knew that coach was going to be upset about it. <laughs> Rodney, you had one of your better games of the whole season. I mean, just what was different for you? I uh, just trying to be aggressive. You know, coach, coach said, you know, I'm a good value player coming off the bench. So I just try to be aggressive. And my teammates told me to be aggressive. And they say they need my help coming off the bench. So I just try to come in and give them a lift, be the energy guy take the game to a new level. Coach said that he thought you may have been in kind of a funk earlier this month. I mean, did you get that same feeling? Yeah, it was uh, it was just a little funk. I mean, I was just, I don't know what was really, my, it wasn't really like a big thing. It was just something, I got a little frustrated, missing a couple shots, and, and it kind of carried over. So once I got that on my mind, it was, it was pretty much being confident after that. You guys hit almost 70% of your shots tonight. How much of that was getting different looks than you got against Birmingham versus just shots fell tonight that weren't going in the other night? Um, it was, I think um, we got into a rhythm early. So once we got into that rhythm early, it just it was just like like practice after that. It was just shooting like practice after that. Really. <laughs> Pop, did you ever hear what was the Long reason for the long delay on that pinch from foul, they finally called on you. What was the question about that? Um, they said that I threw the elbow after they called the foul on, on him. And I didn't really, I didn't think I threw an elbow, so I don't know what, what they was talking about. Pop, what was the key to getting Gary Flowers a little off his game defensively? Just pressure. Every time he gets the ball, just get it out of his hand. And that's what we did tonight. And that's what Coach was preaching before the game get the ball out of his hand and make him dribble. That's, that's basically what we did early on. We just made him dribble and not just get the ball, feel comfortable with telling why they shoot it because you didn't want that. And as soon as he got the ball, we just went and doubled. And I guess he took him out of, uh, out of the game. Based on the success he had had coming into today, were you surprised that you were able to do it that effectively today? I mean, we are good defenders. We, um, we play good defense. So I wasn't, I wasn't surprised that the guys went and took him out of his game because, you know, we got a couple of good guys that have pride. And when Gush told them, you guys go out there and just play hard, that's basically what they did. They went and took him out of his game. Pop, in the past three games, you have like 13 blocks now. I mean, did you make like a, <laughs> like, did you think about having to go for the blocks more like three games ago or has it just happened? So I guess it just happened because, I mean. You've been talking to Bamba? Yeah, I've been talking to Bamba. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we actually joked about it. I was like, Bamba, I'm finna break the, um, the blocking record. And he started laughing <laughs> last week. <laughs> on, on the phone? Talking? No, we was talking on the internet. Oh. Yeah. Rodney, how much, if any, did the lighter practices help? 
the last two. Or... They really help. They really help. Like they keep our legs up under us, and um, and we and even with the lighter practices, people like me, probably we come in on our own time and get more shots up. So it leaves more time for us to to tune our game up individually. So it really helps. You talked earlier about the fact that you got into a little bit of an offensive rhythm early on. Um, but from three-point range, you, Colin, and Rob went 10 for 13. Is that early rhythm even more important for three-point shooting? Uh, yeah, but not all the time. It just depends on, like, once we, when we get good shots and we just hit a couple of them, it just could be, it could be automatic from there, no matter what time of the game it is. So once we free up and get into a rhythm, it's just the other team is going to be in trouble. Was, was the Houston loss, was that a difficult one to, to get past or was that over pretty quick? It was a difficult one to get past for me, yeah. But, you know, Coach say enjoy it or enjoy a win to midnight or fast get a loss for, to midnight then on to the next game. So once we came to practice, it was, it was all our head. We had to focus on the next team. Yeah.